Okay, folks, I apologize for my lack of dress. Actually, I'm dressed, just no shirt. It's really simple. It's getting hot here. I just got the electric bill this morning and it doubled. Wow, just like that, doubled. And it's not even hot yet. It's too warm for me here, but I'm stuck here because of this medical emergency. I hope I get my hearing back. Please keep the prayers up. I do have some good news. I might have a possible affiliation with a wonderful product that I think a lot of you are going to benefit from. I mean, it was life changing for me. And believe me when I tell you that, I'm not joking at all. I mean, it's serious. And I'm still wishing that the fellow that was going to do the t-shirts for me would come aboard. He's upset because I say there's only one way. Well, there really is only one way. Um, yes, I know there are other things, but they're not as good. Now, I'm not telling you you have to go to church and you have to become affiliated with a particular cult, a particular branch, a particular dispensation, whatever you want to call it. I'm saying you need two things. You need to be reading the Bible and building that Holy Spirit. And I know that some people are, get upset when I say that Jesus is the Word of God, because that's what the Muslims say, and they don't like that. They want to hear he's the Son of God. Well, I got news for you. Adam was the Son of God. It says that right in the early book of Luke. You read to the end of the chapter. Most people don't stay to the end of the chapter. It says Adam, the Son of God. Okay. It's right there in the Scriptures. Adam was the Son. Now, what does that mean? Jesus was. Well, first of all, let's get his name right. It was Yahshua. Not with an E, but with an A. Yah. Like Yavo, like Yah in the German language. They are the, the genuine deal. They are the tribe of Judah. That's why the Holy Roman Emperor, every time he needed a warrior, well, actually the Pope, but every time he needed an emperor to go fight his battles for him, he always hired a crowd. Now, you may think I'm horrible for saying such a racial slur as that, but I'll be honest with you. I got a lot of respect for those people. I lived there for three years of my life. They were better than we were. Yes, we fought the wrong enemy. You need to understand we've been taken over from within. I've been trying to identify this for you. I have looked at the long-term stuff. I've tracked it back six Earth Ages. Do you realize how, how long ago that was? 70, 72,000 years ago? Long time. I'm here to train you up. I'm here to wake you up. I'm here to help you brainstorm or help you break out of the prevailing brainwashing. We have to join and unite with our real brothers in Russia, not with the bad guys that came out of Russia. You got to remember we have a mutual enemy right there in Kazaria. That's right. And they are bent upon destroying this planet. I know, I know. They've actually come up with the final solution. I, I spilled some stuff on my big pharma shirt. You know, far-reaching solutions, they came up with a final solution, not Adolf. Adolf was a basically kind of a meat tenderizer compared to those people. They're the real meat grinder. They're the ones that are doing it to us. I say that to you with some confidence and calmness about it, because I'm giving you the truth as I understand it. Could I be wrong? <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'm right. If I'm wrong, you put it in the comments. I'm all for it, man. Put it down there. If you beat me at something, I'll applaud you. I will stand back there and I will thank you. I'll make a video about it even. That's how much I value correction. I embrace it. It's a lot to correct me on, so please be gentle. I need your prayers. I'm... Uh, I've still got too many irons on the fire. I've got some serious letters to write. I got off one letter today, Senate certified. 
Now I've got to write a cover letter and send that copy off to the law enforcement officer for the county. And I'm going to give him 20 days. If he doesn't take proper action within 20 days, I'm going to send the entire packet to the news media. As they say, any publicity is good publicity. It's going to be embarrassing. But, I mean, I really don't have anything to prove to anyone. You know, I got my foibles. I got my weaknesses. What can I say? Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate the thumbs up and the likes and the prayers. Um, if you don't want to subscribe to the channel because you're afraid it's tracked, I can assure you it's all tracked, baby. It's all logged in. They got everything. They got us all. So let's get used to just talking among ourselves and to other people freely and not be inhibited about it. Don't be afraid of, inhib of, of insulting the other son of a bitch. Now, I like to joke and say, welcome to hate radio. Equal opportunity hater. I say, kill them all. Let the gods sort them out, right? No, no, that's just kind of hyperbole. Maybe you could call it showmanship. Whatever it is, is pretty crude. But the way I see it is, there should have been no religion called Christianity. None at all. And as far as I'm concerned, I like the Christian son of a bitches about as much as I like the Muslim son of a bitches. And we have our own amazing son of a bitch who's gonna be elected to office here, but he is a son of a bitch, but he's our son of a bitch. And we need to ride his ass, get him in office, and write his ass and tell him restore that constitution and live up to his word and none of this you know none of this wheeling and dealing crap anymore no making deals with the devil anymore you pair that those amendments down to the original 13th amendment give us our freedom back from these damn bar association jackasses and you stop this medical monopoly and you jail everybody in the federal reserve system stockholders and their family members as well. We need to take them into protective custody. That's my excuse. I don't plan on disappearing them too quickly, but I don't think we can take a chance with them anymore. I think we have to give them the ultimatum and the final solution. Don't tell me they could be saved. Yahshua is not saving them. Yahweh is not saving them. He wouldn't be righteous if he did that. But who am I to judge? Yeah, I'm Dr. Kent. Friends call me Doc. Oh, well. Got my gun on the table here with me. She didn't disarm me completely. She did disarm me pretty thoroughly, though. I got to tell you, I was quite smitten by her, quite taken by her. She put on a good show. She actually had cleaned the toilet a couple of times. Twice? What kind of nut does that? You just clean it once a week, maybe. You don't clean it twice in a day. <laughs> she made a mess. She wanted me to take her home. She got what she wanted, and she wanted to ride out of here. She wanted to be able to take that prize home to Papa. And that's exactly what she did. So I will be pursuing that in a lawful manner. Um, you can say that I put her out. And if you read the prophets, two of the major prophets will tell you, when you put a woman out, you're not allowed to take her back in. Why? Because you shall pollute the land and the land shall spew you out. That's the problem with the Israelites. They put those women out, divorced them, and then went back into them, took them back in, went into them. Now, it's important I point that out to you because they didn't have a marriage license back then. Actually, there was one in existence, but I'm not going to talk about that today. The, the sex act was considered the act of marriage. 
so we're busy here marrying each other and crossing over all the time so we're violating the eastern tradition the eastern guideline which says that when a man goes into his wife after she's had sex with another man and she's merged her aura with his aura and she's accepted an imprint of this strange man's aura upon her when she engages in sex with her husband she will visit a shock upon him from which he will never overcome it'll drive him crazy that's what Adam did drove him crazy I'm crazy about that young stuff as my housemate taunts and teases me when we joke about when we joke about the youngsters and that stuff because we know it's, it's just not right man it ain't safe so we tease each other mercilessly about it it's okay we're just playing as children we're adults and, but we have near misses and it's like whoa man yeah right he pulls my leg so damn good I'm, a, I'm amazed I got a leg left damn and half the time when I don't believe him he's actually telling the truth that's the real problem I need you to pay attention to this world situation stop tuning into the news media at large and watch out for the countercultural media media as well because they control that co intel pro man they've got that stuff running around and by the way there are no white hats don't believe that bullshit there ain't no white hats everybody's tainted including your man trump the chump he was bought by those same people, by the way. They put him forward. And they also put a warning out on him because they wanted to screw things up. The way I see it is we're going to be stuck with him no matter what. But we hold his feet to the fire. You will release the Kennedy files the moment you finish taking your hand off that Bible, you son of a bitch. By law, you were required to do that, and you decide to follow the CIA? So who, who's in charge of this show? Oh, oh, you're supposed to be in charge. You're the president? The CIA tells you what to do. That's why when you got your hymie ass off the Bible, what did you do? You got on Air Force One, the helicopter. Where did you go? You went to pay homage to the real king. That's right. You went right to the CIA headquarters in Langley. Some people said, well, you want to show that you weren't afraid of them. Oh, hell no. You went there to pay homage to let them know you were going to cover for them. You were going to kiss their asses and give them and do whatever they told you to do. Yeah, Trump, I'm talking to you. Yeah, they run your ass. There are no white hats. Let's put the boy in office. Whoops, I just said a racist term. I called him a boy. He's actually older than I am. He's still a boy, though. He's had a little more trouble growing up than I have, I think. Ah, oh, the simple life. To lead the life of a householder. Wish I'd have done that instead of becoming a man of knowledge. It's a burden. I'm tired of the burden. I want you to read my Bible. I know some of you like that King James Bible. It's okay, it's not too bad. My ancestor brought you that Bible. He oversaw the production of it. He was the king's nephew. Illegitimate, the marriage could not be recognized in public. He couldn't be called by his rightful last name, lest his mother be discovered and be beheaded. God save the queen. I call it the Elizabethan error, E-R-R-O-R. -R she betted a Mr. Kent, and she liked it. So she went back for more. She gave Mr. Kent two boys, two sons. And I know you, you jackasses out there, when I tell you this stuff, you send me the links. Sir Francis Bacon, yeah. 
He wasn't called by our last name. They couldn't call him the last name Kent. And his queen mother passed away, and in history books they say she didn't have a consort. Bullshit. Not only that, he prosecuted his brother, his full blood brother, not half brother, and got his ass executed. You talk about family problems. Whoa. So it's my privilege and honor to bring with you the latest and the greatest in Bibles. Now, if I have a windfall, God knows I'd probably wreck myself if I had a windfall, but I think I'm going to take it on another project. Now, I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to oversee it, and I'm going to hire men to do it. I'm going to put some young lads to work. And we're going to print those Bibles up in beautiful Russia, in Belarus. And I'd like to put 88 books in it, too, just because I like the number. I got to be careful what I say because I'm revealing too much of myself. But those 88s were some incredible guns. They were superior to us and we beat them. The South was superior to us and we beat them. If the South had won, we would have been a lot better off. They were far better educated. They made three times the income we did up north. It was a war of jealousy is what it was. All underneath that Rothschild son of a bitchin' bastard, Abraham Springsteen. That's what he should have been called. His father changed his name to Springs. Grandson of the Rothschilds. Your first Jewish president. Your first black president. Your first native president. The guy was a three-in-one, very confused individual. He had some gumption, though. He had the balls to change an article and take that office illegally, and he knew it. And he destroyed the republic, and he knew it. He said he had to destroy it in order to save it. I'm not in a forgiving mode or mood right now. Abraham Lincoln was rotten hell for all I care. He really did a lot of damage to this country. Him and his compatriot, you know him as. Karl Marx. His real name was Mordecai Levi. They were contemporaries. They were alive at the same time and in New York City at the same time. And their portraits were hung on the stock exchange walls side by side for a reason. Those were their secret agents, their double agents to take us down. Real long range planning. We need to restore this country. Okay, you swear Trump in, but you make Trump squeal like the pig he is. You make him fess up. You make him abide by restoring the Constitution and abide by the Constitution. I think we take out the Bible, the look of the law, and I think we require him to read it every day. That's what kings had to do in order to rule. They had to know the law. That's why I like the book of John. It begins in the beginning was the logos, the law, the word. Yeah. It's best described as a bunch of frequencies do we really exist? We're told it's, it's Maya, it's an illusion. <laughs> it feels real to me. How does it feel to you? How do you like knowing that Vladimir Putin is over there doing just exactly what he said he was going to do? And our jackass is like Anthony Blinken and Janet Yellen 
are doing their best to trigger off a nuclear war. Why do they do that? Are they insane? Do they not realize you put Putin into a corner? He has no choice but to go to full-scale full nukes, do the whole damn thing. All because you lied and you deceived. Because you stole elections. <laughs> Yeah, stolen elections have incredible consequences. We need to be gentle and kind with each other for a period of approximately two years. I'd be glad to serve in some capacity. I really don't want to go to Washington, D.C. It's just not a good vibe there for me. Wouldn't mind hanging out in Virginia. It's beautiful there. Or better yet, West Virginia. I haven't spent hardly any time there at all. or even Ohio. Four dead in Ohio. Those bastards. Four dead. Two young men, two young women. I can't help but wonder how that was ordered and come about. I don't think we ever got the full truth on that. Well, folks, I'm tired. Either I gotta get onto a nap because I woke up at 1.30 this morning and I've been working, or I need to take a nap. I really need to take care of myself. So keep the prayers going. I, I want my hearing back. I wanna be able to work. I have to have my hearing organs working properly so I can help folks and help myself and earn a living because I have to go to work again. They're destroying, they're destroying that wonderful retirement that I work for. I think I earned it. It's not a very good retirement. It's about a half of what I should have had if I'd have been able to play their games but then again I probably would have died on the job I am tired the dog is sleeping she's in heat just getting started I'm only going to run her for maybe three more days four maximum and she's going to be stuck on a leash in the park the whole time and last time we had strange dogs coming from quite a ways. And I don't dare let her out there because she thinks the coyotes are something to play with. Of course, she's twice as fast as a coyote is, but I'll tell you something. I don't want to be rearing Belgian coyotes, Belgian coyotes. I mean, that would just be horrible. I just can't imagine how bad of a disposition the cross between a Belgian Malwar and a coyote would be. It would definitely not have the emotional stability, so it would be a wicked animal. Anybody want any puppies? No, I'm not going to wish that on my enemy. We're going to pass this time on the breeding. I just don't have it together. I can't travel and get this scored away the way I wanted to do it. May Yahweh bless you. Above all, May you bless Yahweh.